西雅图布利特中心是一栋有着巨大屋顶的六层楼建筑，它使用的能源只有一般市区商办大楼的百分之十八，而且据说工作环境令人愉悦。但是，布利特中心设计的目的，并不仅仅是打造一个省电舒适的商业办公大楼，而是要设计成为一个有生命的实验室，以及商办建筑的楷模，来激发全世界在环境工程领域的创新。And we're trying to prove that in a standard office building with a conventional set of tenants, you can dramatically reduce your environmental footprint. 布利特中心的想法源自环保倡导者海斯，他是一九七零年第一届世界地球日的协调人。Buildings consume about three quarters of all electricity, and electricity is the biggest source of greenhouse gas emissions. And if we don't want to broil the planet, then we have to dramatically change the built environment. 利用大木构造、混凝土与钢材，布利特中心的电力完全来自由五百七十五片的太阳能板组成。乍看之下，像极了毕业生的学士帽的屋顶。室内不用空调，完全依赖自然通风来降低室内温度。当大楼侦测到室外与室内温度有差别时，窗户会自动打开或关闭。室内暖气供应依靠一套复杂的热水管线系统，而西雅图丰沛的降雨量则提供了水的来源。All of our water for all purposes, including drinking water and coffee, all the way down to flushing toilets, it all comes from the rain that falls on the roof that we treat here. 而中心内使用泡沫取代水的慢速冲洗堆肥厕所，可能会让环保新手大吃一惊。其他受到访客赞赏的建筑特色，像是玻璃帷幕包围的楼梯，被昵称为 “irresistible”， 无法抗拒。Super efficient buildings have to be designed for particular locations. So this is a building that was designed for Seattle. It would not work well in Moscow. It would not work well in Rio de Janeiro. It works perfectly in Seattle. 在过去数年中，已经有成千上万来自世界各地的专业人士造访布利特中心。希望能在创新绿建筑领域获得启发。谢谢您的收看，我们下期节目再会。